Alright, what is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I'm back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and as you can tell by the title, we're back again bringing you guys another One Piece Treasure Cruise roulette video. Now you guys absolutely destroyed the support in that last video. You guys absolutely love this series. So in today's video, we're back, we're bringing it back and we're going to be doing yet, yet another one of these videos. Now, uh, we are going to be doing this on the brand new Fortnite that has just been released, being the Prison Buggy and Prison Mr. 3 Fortnite. And because that condition states that if you bring a fighter or a shooter character, then uh, they basically are weakened, they're in a weakened state. So what we're going to be doing in this video, guys, is we are going to keep generating characters until we get like a whole team that is not a shooter or a fighter character because that does make it a little bit too difficult uh, especially if you bring uh, you know just a really janky team it's gonna be very hard to take on this Fortnite in particular because this is actually a really difficult Fortnite. this is actually a really tricky one so in this video as I said if we roll a fighter or a shooter we will be re-rolling that number so Let's start things off. Uh, we have to reroll to 1447, which is the max uh, unit that we have at the moment. And let's generate our first number, which is going to be 1133. Let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be Ideo. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually own Ideo. If I did, that'd be cool, but he is actually a fighter and a shooter, I believe. Yeah, he's a fighter and a shooter, so that's actually terrible. 598, what's it going to be this time? It's going to be Buggy. Uh, this guy can actually be used, the Fortnite Buggy. Let's go ahead and uh, character log him up. But yes, we can actually use this guy, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah, this Buggy is actually pretty decent. I believe he gives himself a Purple Orb. Yes, and uh, we do have the Evolved version of him at max level. So that's actually really awesome. Next is uh, 580. So let's see what 580 is going to bring. It's going to be Log Zoro. I think I actually have Log Zoro. So yes, I will be going ahead and using him. Log Zoro, done. I believe mine's unevolved though. So that's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, next is going to be 1052. Let's see what that one's going to be. It's going to be Nico Robin. The Okay, she's a fighter. So we can't use her. Can't use her. Let's generate a new one. It's going to be 1296. Getting right up there with those numbers. And this one's going to be Halloween Khalifa, which is not out on Global yet. Uh, let's try number 40. What's number 40 going to be? Uh, Gaimon. I believe I actually have Ga Gaimon, but he is a shooter character. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to use him. 1380 is going to give us Redhead Shanks. Uh, we can use him. We can definitely use him. Holy crap, that is insane. If we could roll some some more cerebral characters, that would be absolutely awesome. So, let's see if we get 396. 396. Is going to give us Miss Merry Christmas. Are you serious? Oh, she's a fighter though, so we can't bring her. Next is going to be 1281. 1281 is going to give us Gart from Story Mode. He's a fighter, but I don't have him, so that's a little unfortunate. 440. Come on, we just need two more characters. This is uh, this Vivi. I don't believe I... Uh, yeah, I don't have this Vivi at all. I wish I did though. She's actually pretty good. Uh, 1383. He's going to be Toy Soldier. We don't have him on Global yet, unfortunately. 421. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, guys. Okay, this is... Uh, we can't grab him because we already have another Zora, unfortunately, for us. Next is going to be 881. We need two more characters, guys. Two more. He's going to be Scratchman Apu, who is a shooter, so we can't bring him. Next uh, is going to be 109. 109. Who's that going to be? It's going to be a Black Treasure Turtle. Do not have that, unfortunately. 937. This might take a while. This literally might take a while. We actually cannot bring this Luffy because he's a fighter character. 930. It's going to be Cell Death. Uh, Cell Death, Striker Cerebral. I don't know if I actually have this character. I might have to check on my game. Uh, does he evolve? He doesn't evolve. And he is a an Int Striker Cerebral. So I'll check my Int characters real quick. Just to make sure to see if I actually do have this guy. I, I do have this guy. I actually do. And he's actually cerebral. So that's really good for us because of the shanks that we have. So that's awesome with that. Next is going to be 733. We need more cerebral characters for the shanks. Okay, uh, I don't actually have this story mode Fukuro yet. I literally have every other story mode uh, CP9 character except for him. Uh, 1336. It's going to be... Oh, I wish I had that Sabo. He's so good, but I do not have that Sabo. 405. We need one more character, guys. Absalom, who is a shooter, so we cannot bring him. Next, 788. Kawina. Uh, we can bring Kawina. Uh, yeah, she's a striker. Yeah, so we can bring Kawina. I don't actually have her evolved, but 
That is five characters. So if we go ahead to our um, character log real quick, we should be able to click this. And these are our five characters that we have to build a team for. So we have Log Zoro, we have Fortnite Buggy, we have Kawina, Cell Death, and Red Hair Shank. So I'm going to hop back into the game, guys. I'm going to build a team with these characters, and I'll see you guys there. So this is the team that I have built for you guys. Now, this is the team using the Invasion Shanks as the captain, who is a Cerebral Booster. Now, the only other Cerebral unit that we actually have is Cell Death here, which is a little unfortunate. We didn't roll anymore, but we should still be fine. We have the Fortnite Buggy here. We have Log Zoro, who is just there, and we have Kuina. Now, uh, Kuina and Zoro are going to be like the weak links of this team. Uh, Buggy doesn't really get boosted by much, but he is nice with his special. And Cell Death is boosted uh, from the Shanks. Now, we are using the Red Force ship, which is a really nice cerebral based ship. And what I am doing here is I am going to be using a friend Corazon Captain. Shout out to Razor. So I will go ahead and let him know in the Discord that uh, we're all good. So uh, I am going to be using this team. Now, uh, so, now uh, this Corazon here is a cerebral unit. That's the reason why I chose him because he's a cerebral unit he boosts everyone and also for the fact that he um he allows us to survive for a long time so I, I i hope that this team will actually have the ability to survive throughout this dungeon i really hope that we can but uh let's see how we go i'm kind of excited to see how this team is going to work out we've got three cerebral units we've got the red force ship so i'm hoping that we are able to go ahead and uh and get uh, you know, some good matching orbs on our characters here. Now, as I said, these guys are not going to be doing that much damage. Uh, our main hitters are going to be Corazon and also uh, Shanks. Uh, Cell Death is kind of there. He does a little bit of damage, but mainly it's going to be down to Corazon, Shanks, and, uh, and Cell Death. Uh, so hopefully we can work this out. So... We want to make sure that Shanks is our last hitter because he's, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Now, these guys, they do a HP cut, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it's a 50% health cut. So let's go ahead and pick up some more health here. That's the great thing about Corazon, using just hitting greats. Get your health back, and then we'll be good. Uh, although, we're not going to be doing too much damage in this process. So hopefully, we are able now to kill him off. If not, we will have to do a little bit of stall again, but that's fine. But uh, I do think that Corazon might be the way to go for this dungeon with this specific team. So this is probably going to be a long video because we have a lot to take care of. Uh, but one good thing that is good is that my Shanks actually has a pretty decent cooldown. So that's one good thing that I do love about having Shanks uh, on this team is that my one in particular is like decently low cooldown. He only needs four more skill ups and the fact that he has uh, max cotton candy, his max level. So he's just about ready to go to be honest. Like he's just missing a couple of things but all in all this Shanks is pretty pretty good and raises um raises Corazon is fully socketed fully skilled up like his Corazon is set so that's that's really nice to have as well uh doing not too bad so far we've only got 11,000 health that's actually kind of worrying I only just noticed that right now that having only 11,000 health is quite worrying so I hope that we still do have enough damage output for the later stages uh, and we don't die but having Corazon's healing capabilities we should be okay I would think I would think that we're going to be okay. And if we ever do get into a, a tight situation where we get really bad orb luck, we've got Buggy there to give a purple orb to our Shanks if we do need to do that as well, which is quite nice. Now, unfortunately here, the Mino Koala does have a really low cooldown, only on a one-turn cooldown, so we're going to be taking a bit of damage here. Okay, so he does 3,800. I do have damage reduction. Oh, Razor has damage reduction on the Corazon, so uh, that does help a little bit on our end. Let's pick up uh, as much health as we possibly can here and do a little bit of damage as well. Oh man, this is going to be a long fight. You guys will have to stick around uh, a little bit of time for this one. But this is definitely going to be a longer based fight compared to the previous one that we did. But I still really enjoy the series and I really do enjoy that you guys are enjoying it as well. I enjoy that you enjoy it. So... Uh, yeah, as long as you guys keep supporting this series, we're definitely going to keep this up. And it did take us quite a long time to configure a team, which is one thing I want to try and figure out is a way that I can, you know, try and randomize it, but also randomize it quicker so that we can get specific characters quicker, whether it be if it's a Fortnite where we can only have quick units so we can randomize it so we only get blue characters and stuff like that. That's what I want to try and figure out. I'm not too sure how to do that kind of stuff yet, but it is something that I am wanting to do to make this series more enjoyable for you guys so that we don't don't spend like five minutes or five minutes plus trying to randomize a team for you guys uh, we can just do it really quickly get straight into the game and record these runs a little bit quicker so I'm not too sure how I'm gonna go about doing that but it is just something that I was thinking about okay so what stage are we on now we're on stage like five or something 
on stage, yeah, stage five. So we only need to go through one and two more stages and then we'll be at the final boss. Hopefully we do get a little bit of an easier final boss with the Honey Ball. That would make it that much more easier because the Honey Ball stage is a lot easier to take down compared to the one with the five Cannoneer guys and, uh, and Mr. Three. Would much prefer to have um, the Honey Ball stage, but we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we do get the secret one, but who knows? Who knows, man? It all comes down to luck uh, at this point. Now, we could go ahead here and heal. I think I might heal a little bit. And then we can go ahead and do a lot of damage here. Boom, and then boom. Now, that heal was pretty nice. Do we get back to full? Get close to full. I actually didn't even check what our auto heal is at the moment. I believe it's only like level 1 or level 2. Let's check the active powers. It is level 2. So, we're only getting 200 back per turn, which is kind of bad. Let's go ahead and pick up this recovery orb here, which will help us out a little bit. And buggy. And Zoro. Boom. Okay, sweet. So now, we move on to the most difficult part, and the part I'm dreading the most, being the final boss stage. So, unfortunately, we do get the most difficult one to take care of. I think this is where we're going to die. I literally do not think that we're going to be able to make it past here. I really don't think so. All those, all those buffs. Now, what does this guy do? Changes slots to Dex, Quick, and Int, starting from the upper left, and then puts character in a bind state for three turns. So that's not a great special at all. He changed block slots to quick or dex and does 15 times his attack. Uh, okay, this is not going to do a lot of damage, but let's see. Uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping that it was going to kill these guys or, or do a lot of damage to them, but unfortunately not. And literally, Zora is our only damaging special. So this is kind of sad right now, but at least we're going to be able to kill these guys because they just got high defense. So that's fine. And then we're going to rely on Shanks to do a lot of damage. Boom, there we go. Nice. And Mr. 3 does 3,800 damage. That's quite hefty right there. Candle lock. Okay, okay. Uh, we could actually use Buggy here to make sure that Shanks has an orb for two turns. That'd be quite nice. Nice. Uh, and now let's try and aim to take down these two guys here. I have a feeling we're only going to be able to take down one of them though. Yeah, unfortunately. We probably should have healed. I think, that, I think we're going to die here. No! <laughs> oh, I should have healed, man. But honestly, even if with that matching orb, we were still unable to kill that guy. So I do feel as if, you know, that was that was kind of it. I, did, I just don't think we were able to beat that with that team. As I said at the start of the video, this Fortnite is extremely difficult. Imagine if we had to do it with um, with some fighter characters or shooter characters that we re-rolled. Would have been extremely difficult because, you know, you know the specials are kind of useless, you know. Can't use their specials, but... All in all, it, it does come down to the randomization and what characters you do get from the randomizer. But anyways, that will conclude this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.